right, guys, welcome back to Midwest Long Range. I'm here at Precision Rifle Expo today with KGM, and he's got these awesome suppressors, and he's tailoring them toward Precision Rifle, which is right up our alley, and I'm going to get involved with some of this stuff. Tell us what you got. Sure. Scott Radebaugh, KGM Technologies. Uh, we live our lives in the Precision Rifle world as well. Um, we're all, the vast majority of the guys that are on the sales staff should competitively shoot the Precision Rifle Series quantified performance. So accuracy is our number one priority. Uh, I've got here in my hand an R30K, uh, which is a sub 7 inch uh, 30 cal can, weighs about 9 ounces. Uh, where KGM uh, kind of stands out from the rest of the industry is with our Apex system. That stands for adjustable port end cap. So what we do is we route gas directly from the blast baffle to the apex and we turn the end of the suppressor into a radial muzzle brake. So you can actually spot your own trace with a suppressor, which is a difficult thing to do with typical suppressors. Uh, a typical suppressor, if you take a massive amount of air and force it through a small hole, you get thrust. And in the recoil impulse, it's difficult to watch your own trace or spot your own shots. Uh, and so by venting the gas radially, we turn the can into a radial muzzle brake so you can see all that. Uh, also through the apex system, we vent gas for gas guns. So instead of uh, trapping that gas and sending it back through the gas gun, uh, we're venting that gas radially again, reducing recoil and, uh, and not uh, dirtying up your gun or not overdriving the bolt. Uh, next, the Apex uh, acts as a flash dissipator. So as flashing flame hits the end cap, uh, it hits that, that flashing flame or dissipates that flashing flame uh, radially. Uh, so instead of that big ball of flame coming out of the end of the end cap, you get a, a small ring of fire around the suppressor with a rosebud out the front. And then last but not least, the uh, Apex system is tunable to your recoil impulse. So let's say that you shoot a lot of prone uh, and you want you don't want any ground disturbance. You can plug the bottom ports with cap head screws. You'll completely eliminate your ground disturbance and actually generate downforce onto the bipods, uh, which will help reduce bipod hop. If you shoot a lot of positional shooting, let's say you realize that your position's not great and you're you're losing the gun or losing the sight picture in high and right, you can close the bottom left ports, leave the uh, right ports and the top ports open. It'll help you maintain your sight picture. Uh, so that's uh, what our APEC does in a nutshell. That'll kind of segue us over to the gun that we're about to shoot and demonstrate for you. Guys, this is a 6.5 PRC. It's a 22-inch proof carbon barrel. Uh, it's in a Manners uh, T2A, I think, is the, uh, the model number for this gun. Remington 700 action back rows bolt. Uh, the entire gun's built by a company named Elemental Industries. Got a loophole Mark V. And on this particular gun, I've got our KGM R30. So this is our flagship 30 cal can. It's a 10 ounce suppressor, uh, inch and three quarter diameter tubes, just under seven inches long. Uh, this is kind of our do all 30 cal can. Again, uh, when I shoot this gun, the most important thing you should watch is the recoil impulse. On a Magnum such as this, this is a fairly lightweight hunting gun. I'd say probably 10, 11 pounds, so nothing crazy. It's not a PRS rig. I can spot my own trace with a 6.5 PRC. Uh, so let's shoot it. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, this could be awesome. Like, uh, NRL hunter, absolutely something like that. Guys, yeah, really getting into that sport. Absolutely. What I wanted is uh, I wanted a gun that uh, is you know 600 to 1,000 yard capable hunting rifle, and uh, and so I, this is not a backpacking gun. It's a long range Georgia field gun. Uh, so. Uh, very, very accurate gun, uh, and it, it's a dream to shoot. The target we're shooting is, uh, I don't know, a goat target about that big, 721 yards. I've got uh, four and a half mils dialed on. We have our preference meal. Uh, and in the class, we'll tell you why. Uh, why would you prefer the meal? Well, it's uh, in scales of 10. Uh, multiple scales of 10, it's easy math. Uh, so, you know, a lot, a lot of people can't, they're like, I'm going to get the difference. Like, well, I, I work in engineering business. I'm you understand? I'm a technician, machinist. Yep. Well, they do it all, and, and it's uh, off left, not enough yep. wind. Impact. 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 But yeah, we'd love to have you guys. We are, guys. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. More stuff from Precision Rifle Expo coming. Go check out these guys. Scott, I appreciate you. Thanks for your time. And uh, stay tuned. You might see some more of this stuff coming up. Thank you, guys.